Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a princess seam. And here we have one. That's the shape of a princess seam. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Here we have a princess seam that comes from the armhole and it comes around to the fullest part of the bust area and then it goes down and it goes into the waistline and then it comes out again at the hip area. Now that is really all dependent with your body shape. Now um, a princess seam is all about fitting the contour of the body and it can also start from this point here, your shoulder, and it will come around to the fullest part of the bust area and then again it goes in and out depending on your body shape. So that is what a princess seam actually does. It fits the contour and gives you a better fitting of garment. Now here we have the front panel of a princess seam and I've got the pattern markings here. And this row of stitching is the reinforcement stitch, which is within the seam allowance. So we're actually going to clip into the area here, and that will allow for more movability within the fabric when you come to sew onto the next panel, which is this part, and this is a side panel. And as you can see, this is the outward curve, and that is what's going to be needed to fit onto the inward curve, and you'll be matching up your pattern markings. I'm just going to clip into the front panel and um, we're going to go as close as we can to the reinforced stitching. That's about there. And one more here. So I've done four in all. I'll just show you how that looks like. Okay. Right, I've got the uh, front panel on top of the curved side section. And as I'm actually putting it on, um, as you can see the clipped areas here, I'm matching up the, not the notches and I'm actually spreading them slightly and then pinning. Can get that a bit closer, yep. And spread the next one. Remember to match up your pattern markings. I've removed mine just for this demonstration but I put pencil markings there. So you can see they're actually spread and I'll just continue doing the rest until it's complete. I basically did seams together and now I'm going to do my seam of 1.5. Just reverse that. And now you're going to have to make sure that the under section, the side panel, um, is flat as possible so you don't get any little puckering happening. And as you do this here, kind of move this in. Um, as you actually sew it around the most curved part of the seam. And just go gradual, just go gradual. And then just space the slits that you've made to make sure you don't get any puckering happening there. And then continue as you sew. Excuse me, on my work surface, there we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out the basting stitch and then I'm going to open the seam out and um, I'll show you what that looks like. The seam is now sewn and then what we need to do is then finger press. Now I'll just put my hand in the way here and what you do is just run your thumb, your thumb down the seam line just to give it a help to flatten and that's that's just a technique of finger pressing really as you've got there and then you can see you've got your princess seaming there now in order to get it to lie a bit more flatter what you can do is actually notch out a few more on the side panel just to help flatten it a little bit more. So just notch a little bit there and then a little more here. Do three or four. That'll just help it to lie flat when you come to press your seam. 
and I'll do one more there. And then it's ready to take into the ironing board and to be pressed. I'll just turn it over so you can have a look what it looks like again. And there we have it. Now, um, here's the finished product. I hope you can see that. Looking beautiful, even if I do say so myself. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. There. So you've got that nice shaping around the bust area there. Okay. Um, I hope you found the tutorial helpful. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment box below. I'm Colleen Geely, and I'll see you next time.